Hello, everybody. Welcome to Echo Underground Podcast. I'm Steve. This is Mike. And on this podcast, we talk about music, TV shows, and I forgot the third part. You said music and TV shows? Yeah, and movies. Movies, movies. and other things that we find interesting. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm not going to edit it. So you just get a colorful intro to uh, that. One, one take. One take, yes. So on this episode, we're actually going to talk about, I think this is our 20th episode, and we're going to talk about the new movie, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. All right, so I'm going to give this movie a solid A. I had a little bit of issues with it, but... It was not enough, in my opinion, to like lower the grade. It was what we wanted from a female action movie. It's kind of like if Black Widow was like popular enough to have her own movie, I would want her to have this much Mm -hmm. action in it. Mm -hmm. I was surprised at how much action actually was in it because I remember seeing the trailers and I was like, okay, it's going to be more backstory, yada, yada. No, no, that was, that was, there was a lot, especially towards the end. It was almost nonstop. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely enjoyed this movie, and I would say it's probably the best out of the DCEU to date. I don't think any other movie so far has stopped it. I mean, the only thing we're waiting for right now is Justice League, but right now, I'd put it up there. Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen Justice League, so I'm saying what yeah. we've seen yeah, right I'm now. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Mike, did you enjoy this movie? Did you have fun? Oh, I had a ton of fun. Yeah, I think um the theater I was into like everybody in there was having a ball, so I don't know, man. It's it's, it's a I, I I have no regrets about seeing this movie. I love a good action com comic movie, especially like you know superhero movie. But um yeah, one one, the- one one thing that had a lot of weight with this movie was the fact that hey DC is trying their hand at um you know female lead. One, one and, and this is a nod to DC because it's something that you know that they're doing that. Even Marvel hasn't done that um, that well. And people keep comparing the two, and I know you know this this arguments is old, you know, eternity itself. But people keep comparing two and giving you know a lot of points to Marvel. But I think this one, this one is like, yeah, your move, Marvel, because I'm pretty sure like you know all the records that got broken for like a female lead in the um action movie like this are like you know they're kind of staggering right now. So yeah, they did everything right with this movie. And, like some things, some small things obviously I mean, like you like, said you too. I mean, you could but tell like they had a low budget when it comes to like the CGI because sometimes it was obvious. But and then there were times where I was like, you don't really need a slow motion there. Right. But it was overall really good. And like you know the DC versus Marvel thing. The only thing Marvel leaves DC in is movies. And that's literally it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, DC that's, that's, has that's everything talking about. Yeah. yeah. And they're they're getting there. It's kind of it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to compare DC to Marvel only because Marvel is maybe ten movies into their universe. Yeah. DC's only like three. No, I'm only comparing the quality of um all the well the, the one fact that Marvel doesn't really have any female leads that done what this has done. Yes. That's that's what that's what I'm comparing. I'm not comparing like, the amount of movies or the universe or anything. I'm just comparing like this one movie to whatever Marvel um could have possibly had. I know, and like I was just saying that because a lot of people compared the universes, but I'm no, like, I'm just comparing Marvel right failed now. on starting their universes a lot before they got it right with Iron Man. Yeah, uh, they like to pretend the, the first Hulk, the last Hulk with Ed Norton didn't exist because that was supposed to jumpstart it. But we, everyone just yeah. thinks of Iron Man. Yeah, and technically there is some like, I mean, it is, is still some canon. canon. Yeah, there, there's some canon to but it, we, but they ignore it. Right, there's not they, something that's really addressed anymore. No, exactly. Hulk is never getting his own movie. I can't even imagine that. It, what's crazy is um from just even seeing I don't want to like tangent too much, but even just from seeing him um in the trailer for the new um Thor movie, I think that Hulk is more of like one of the greatest supports he could possibly have in a Marvel movie. Because even in um the Avengers movie, he's always a big deal. And, you know he's he's capable of the most destruction next to Thor. So it's like you know of course you want you want him in the uh, movie, but you don't want to you, you don't want to spotlight him though. That's my thing. Yeah, and. Didn't his destruction lead to Civil War? Them, the Accords and all that stuff? Yeah, but it was more than that, though. I think everyone played a part in that. On, uh, on the certain, I don't know. That's, that's, not, that's not a podcast, though. I can dive deep into that for like an hour straight, but that's not a podcast. Uh, but one thing that I'm proud of this movie is, um, you know, the, the, I think DC's last shot at um a female lead might have been Catwoman, actually. Was it? Am I wrong? Well, okay. Technically, Harley Quinn was a female lead. But if you're oh, talking that's about true. Two, that's very true. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's if you're talking true. about own movie, then yes, Catwoman, that mm-hmm. failed movie with Halle Berry. 
That's yeah. just a bad script. Like, I don't know. They were trying to go for a sexy Catwoman. And, like, honestly, I don't think Catwoman should ever have her own movie. I like, agree. I, like, I'm outside of Batman and, like, Gotham City Sirens and stuff. She ain't really much to talk about. Wonder Woman has full, like, actual comic book history. She has her own villains. She has a lot of her own storylines outside, and she has her own origin. I know Catwoman does too, but not as. It's usually piggybacking off of um, you know. It's a Batman extension of Batman, right, you know. Right. And not like Batgirl, like. Mm-hmm. She literally is extension of Batman, and you and you don't see as much about her. But I think she has her own comics. I could be wrong. Maybe someone want to fact check me. But yeah, going back to Wonder Woman, I guess my favorite scene of the entire movie. It's still the battlefield scene on No Man's Land. Oh, yep. I was going to say the same thing. Yep. I mean, Badass. did I expect her to level a building when she did the shield thing? Yeah. No. But it he dead. Works. He yeah. dead, though. I don't think he made it. He, She was killing a lot of people in this movie. But, you know, we they glazed over it. And I was telling Michael one time that a lot of people's like, oh, superheroes. No. Every superhero move, they kill mad people. Oh, yeah. They destroy cities. They, And then it gets... And now DC actually and Marvel are making a big deal about it. Now people are getting mad, even though I don't think the Civil War storyline will work in the DC universe because Batman will never play those games. Uh-huh. Hell, maybe Superman... If you if you know anything about injustice, you won't play those games either. Or no. Wonder Woman, or Wonder Woman, yeah. she won't want to play those games She'll either. She'll stab you. <laughs> One thing, future Wonder Woman, next movie definitely should be Cheetah. That's that's. I also agree. But that's hard because you got to make Cheetah look good and not corny and like. I think she's gonna be a hard person to go live action with because of how she like the makeup and stuff. Uh- I, I disagree only because I feel like if they had the, I don't know what, what kind of how the budgeting would work for all this kind of you know technology to make the cat one sorry cheetah work, but um I feel like after I saw Avatar I feel like if they did that good of a job with like ten foot tall a- alien cat creature yeah, human but it, hybrids but you're gonna need a person yeah there, there, there are people but they're just um you know glossed over with CGI no no you there can't do that with cheetah like cheetah has to be an actual person because Wonder Woman's gonna be a person yeah. It can't be like her. Like you're gonna have to make up a person, not CGI I, a person. I know. I feel like that could still work though. Cause like I feel like especially for like action scenes, obviously both of them are gonna be CGI in some effect. I yeah, feel like, but like I, I feel like, like the slower scenes, where like you know, it's like you know, this it's not like being fast forwarded or slowed down. Like I feel like it probably work. I mean, into that. like even in the civil, like not even civil war, in the woman woman scene where she's fighting that the fake Ares. Yeah. I forgot his real name. Ludendorff or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yes, part of that was CGI, but you still needed an actual person yeah, to I actually agree. like do it. I think if they tried the CGI Cheetah too much, besides her actual fighting, it will look horrible. And I just think the makeup department needs to be on point. And I think they can do it. Star Trek Beyond is a good example of that. All the aliens are real people just with a lot of fucking makeup on. Yeah. Which it'd probably be annoying. Kind of like Mystique type thing. Full yeah. blue. But I still think it's going to be hard to do it and not look cheesy. But it can be done. Just the right people. Yeah, but that battle scene where she's like running across the field and oh. You know what? I forgot. Spoilers! I totally forgot to do that. If, if you didn't like turn the podcast off by now because you're offended by, spo- offended by spoilers, then you know what you got yourself into. Spoiler uh, alert. Yeah, and We're the, already I, almost 10 minutes into the podcast. So yes. Yeah, but I'm going to put on the title podcast spoilers because i think that would actually warn people more because mm-hmm. you know we forget to say it but yeah when she runs across the field and she fucks them up like it's her against like whole army she's like i eat those and she's going there i heard some complaints about her having a shield i'm like that's classic wonder woman yeah i know in the cartoons like justice league unlimited day she never really had a shield she just had her lasso and the gauntlets yeah and her little arm thing yeah i thought there's any talk of the sword before either she had a sword in a couple episodes, but not like... Yeah, it was like a regular recurring thing or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, you know, the sword is destroyed, but... So she probably won't have that anymore. But then well, she well, gets no, another she, one. She had it, she had it. She had it in Batman vs. Superman, so. Yeah, but it got destroyed in this movie, so she has a different sword. Yeah, and, oh, I'm talking about that's another sword. I'm talking about this sword right here. I know, I know. I'm on the same page. I mean another sword. Yeah. In general, she has another sword. And she really, like... 
Okay, not even the part where she's running across the buildings. I'm talking about just across the field itself. Cut half of that because that's one extension of a scene mm -hmm. from across the field into the town, to, into the town to breaking that Clock church. Tower, right. That's one long scene, but the part where she just across the field, badass scene, probably the best show show like of her strength as a superhero and as someone who's crazy enough to think, hey, I could fight a fucking army because she was very naive. That's my favorite scene. What about you? Oh, that, 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 that was my favorite scene as well. Um, I do like the um Amazon beach scene. That was cool too, only because like um we always hear of you know Wonder Woman's actions, but we rarely ever see the actual um Amazons fighting in, outside of um like say the, the DC universe instead of um for, for like movies or whatever, or even like a lot of the animated movies. Because I'm pretty sure it got shown in Flashpoint with some Amazons fighting, but um. I, I really liked it. Like, I, I don't really know too many of Amazon's names other than um, her mom, but, like, they, they kind of dive into that a little bit. Um, like, the lore behind Thermoscare and about how, you know, the Amazons got created. I'm like, oh, cool. I did not know this is, you know, one of Wonder Woman's potential origins. Or actual, actual origins. Um, hell, I didn't even know about Steve Trevor until I saw this movie. And I know he was a thing, but I didn't know anything about him. I knew him only by name. I oh, yeah. No I knew him. about Steve. So, another thing. In the comics, Steve is, doesn't die. Mm -hmm. He grows to be an old man. Mm -hmm. Right. So I kind of like the twist of him dying, and I thought their relationship was really good. I think one of my favorite scenes is when they're on the boat. Yeah. And uh, she's like questioning him, and he's like. I, I had a weird little almost sex talk that they almost had. <laughs> like, do, do, do you know what that what what the <laughs> how it works? And, and she's like, "Yes, I can read," and I'm right. like, "Duh!" Like, of course she would know. I don't like. I didn't like how her mom lied to her a lot, because I think she would have been more prepared for hate Aries. Sorry, not Hades. Aries, if she was told the truth. Mm -hmm. Cause like I did, but it made the last battle even better because because she didn't know and she was so naive. You saw for the first time because you don't see this in Batman vs Superman. Batman vs Superman, she knows her powers. Right. Maybe she doesn't use. I don't think she knows how to use her full god power yet, though. That might happen in a future movie. Not rather they save that part. Yeah. But she knows her powers, and this one in the beginning she had no idea what to do in the first half of that battle, and Ares definitely took um, advantage of that. I think if Steve didn't die, Ares would have killed her because she lost control when Steve died, and she was like, I think she gained more. What is it? Um, fire, I guess, to mm -hmm. fight Ares. Mm -hmm. Because before then, she was getting her ass kicked and she was trying. But it wasn't until Steve died where she, like, loses her mind. And that's also another favorite scene because she kills a lot of people. And that, like, little... She, like, does, like, I don't know, this explosion thing. Yeah. And takes out mad motherfuckers. I don't know what we call that. Cause we see it in Mom, Batman vs. Superman as well. And I never really had a name for no, it. No, not it even cool. this part. Not even this. I'm not talking about, like, when she crosses her arm and then the shit comes, like, out. I'm talking about when she, like, screamed and was like, ah. Oh, and then, okay, like, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And then all this shit happened because her god powers were realized. But she was so angry. And she, like, killed everyone in that explosion. And then she let Dr. Poison live. Now, that might bite her in the ass, because Dr. Poison, I heard, was actually like a, one of the, one of women's major villains. But maybe she gets, like, I don't know, find a way to save her so she can be in the future. Right. Because by the time we're in the present day, she should be dead. Oh, yeah. Or, or really, really, really dusty. Or, yeah, yeah, really old. Not on her way out old. You never know. She could have been young for her age. Mm. No, she'll be old. Okay. <laughs> Another... I, I I did like what they did with her um her face in that in this movie though. I thought it was pretty cool because um, I I wasn't really too familiar with Doctor Poison before I saw this movie, and like, the whole mask thing I thought that was badass for a villain. Like you got like a quarter of a mask on your face to cover up like, the arm um, the burn See, marks. That, yeah, and that then when was... she actually like took it off, I was like ah that's creepy, but it looks cool on you though. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, and it wasn't like the thing is it wasn't unique to her. It's what they used to do for burn victims. Mm -hmm, yeah, I understand. So they didn't like. I was like, man, I couldn't imagine wearing that on my face. But, hey, do what you gotta do, mm -hmm. right? That was also good. And then there was a part, I want to say, was the Ares twist. I'm not going to say it, but they do kind of, they kind of figure you out in this movie a little bit. I forgot who was playing Ares. 
Because I walked in knowing, and then as I watched the movie, I got so caught up in, like, her trying to figure it out. Then when he finally showed up, I was like, all right, I knew you were playing Aries before the movie started. And I was like, you can't have this person be in the movie and him just be, like, a side character. Right. I mean, he has been side characters in all the movies. Tangent. I saw him in this weird ass movie where he was like this gay guy, and I was. It was like a random movie that you see like late night HBO. Oh no! Not not not. Oh, I was like, oh whoa! How much of them do you see? Hold up. <laughs> no, before you get to the porn section, before okay. the porn section, it's okay. like they show those late movies, and then all of a sudden you're watching a movie, and then it switches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was before then. I was watching. It was some like old like English movie. He's really skinny. And he was younger. He had like full head of hair. Still has that stupid ass mustache. Mustache, yeah. Yeah, but he was in there, and I was like, "Man, you went from that to Harry Potter to this." One thing I did not like them killing all the gods. I didn't like that part. I Be- agree. Because I mean, you know what? They're probably gonna go the new gods route because they're doing Stephen Wolf. So yeah. you're gonna have newer gods anyway. But I didn't like that because I also. Part of me, I didn't like that Zeus was her dad. Because in the comics, Hades her father. And I liked... Oh, I thought... No, Zeus is the father in the comics. No, no, no. Uh, maybe, I mean, maybe we're looking two different Hades. things. That's, that's fine. Maybe we're looking two different things. Because I'm pretty sure I saw Zeus. But that's fine. No, it's always been Hades. And um, I didn't like that. I didn't like that they switched her dad. I didn't like that they killed all the gods except Ares. Uh-huh. I hope that's a lie. Because they said he was dead before. And he was just injured. So, you know, it, that, it could very well be alive. And they could be laying low. You know, they're immortal, so... Yeah. I hope that is a lie, because that kind of shortens her villains, because she does fight gods most of the time. She's probably going to be a big part of Justice League anyway, because a lot of people said that she um, might get a bigger role because of this movie. I'm like, she was a hit since Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. She was always going to have a bigger role. When that music kicked in in Batman vs. Superman when she first arrived, that's when the theater went nuts in Batman vs. Superman. Like as soon as you saw her in, the, uh, in her suit for the first time, and that um that 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 thing right there lit the whole theater up, and I was hella hype when that thing came on, man. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, she's she's just about to go down. Yeah, they finally did Wonder Woman justice. She's like one of my favorite like female, and I'm I'm not even talking about heroes. I'm just talking about characters, cause he knows one of my favorites, Black Canary. You know, Arrow. P.S. You fucked it up. And <laughs> I'm never going to get over them doing Black Canary the way they did. So they always be below the flash because of that. I thought, like, you know, Harley Quinn. I like um, Margot Robbie, but she still ain't up there. She's not the Harley Quinn I want her to be yet. She's she close. She close, but she ain't there. Wonder Woman is definitely there. This is the Diana I want. I even like the Diana... Who like um one of my favorite parts is when she got so sick of man, she just be fucking up all these robbers and stuff. Right. And she don't hide her face either, so like she basically is like it's also kind of weird. She doesn't hide her face, but no one knows she's one of them. She does nothing. No Clark Kent. Mm-hmm. You know Batman wears a mask. You know Aquaman don't give a shit either. Right. But Aquaman and her, no one knows who they are. They're not in disguise. I think once they hit Justice League mode, though, they probably will. Yeah, I'd assume so, too. So that, they that, that's they won't be know addressed. Batman or Superman. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, his glasses hide his identity. Allegedly. Magically. Yeah, I mean, still a brawly dude. But your glasses change your whole entire face. And right. you don't know who you are. Right. And they did make fun of that in this movie, though. Uh, with the scene where she's trying on the dresses. Which is also a really funny scene. I thought that was funny, too. She's like, how do you fight in this? And I also like that they didn't make her try to have an ac- American accent. Yeah, like she definitely um kept it, which um made it made it, made it look like natural to Thermoscary um Thermoscary actually, even though she's the only one with the accent on the whole on the whole island. No, they all had a little bit of accents. Not like hers though. Like hers well, used to pick out. She from had me, a least. real one. Yeah, I understand that. Someone trying to yeah. put on her. No, yeah, I get that. My thing is, what I'm saying is, I like the fact that it made it look like it was native to the island of Thermoscary itself like even yeah, though of course. Ev- everyone had an accent like even though you know i, I still think hers was like you no know, more pronounced obviously because hers is hella real but it's, it's like oh that's what, that's what amazon's from the island sound like and I, i'm completely on board with that yeah now another thing and you talked about the background of the amazons 
Now, was she telling the truth though about the background? Cause she lied the about mom? the yeah, she lied about the God Killers. Mm-hmm. And like, if you really think about the background she gave, it kind of don't make sense. This part. The part where she says why they were created. Cause I, cause Zeus is not really that guy. Like he's a hoe. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they weren't created for what they said they were created for. Because there were no men. I mean, there were no women. Oh, well, okay. Okay, I don't know where I was going. Well, but yeah, I feel like it's one of them things where it's like... Um, Maybe she twisted a, 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 a little bit. A lot of stories in like certain cultures, like they come up with them and like, they, just, they just take it as truth. Like, hey, I heard this one little fairy tale that must be true because we're all here. But the thing is, her mom was there. Yeah, I, I know. But like, it's, it's, it, um, my, my thing is, it might just be one of them things that's like so ingrained into them that, it, that they take it as truth. I know, but I, I, like think, they, they, I don't they don't know it, they, they don't know any other reality right now. Um, fish is they're only on the island, like you know, it's like. I mean, like I'm saying, like with the story, she I'm saying she knows the truth, mm-hmm. but she told Diana a lie. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because she knew that she knew. It's peace speaking. She knew that that mm-hmm. <laughs> that Diana was a god. She knew that the god killer was just a fucking sword. She knew that shit too. She knew a lot of things. And she's twisted around and made her believe things as well. So if it wasn't for her aunt, which I forgot to say her name. I know it starts with A, but the one that died on the beach. Mm -hmm. The one who trained her, right? Yeah. If it wasn't for her aunt training her, she would have died in that fight with Ares. Mm -hmm. Because her mom was trying to pretend that nothing would happen. And also, maybe I'm um, a little out of date on my lore. But wasn't Themyscira, like, hitting with, like, a field? Like, you actually couldn't get in? Not just, like, fog, like, in the... I I remember it being an island, like, a really big island, but I don't remember the whole fog thing, though. I forgot how they said it was hidden. Because they never really say even where, like, you know, the location of Atlantis was officially. Like, it's one of them things that, like, they say, hey, it's... No one's ever been there, but no one knows where it is either, even though, like, you know, airplanes and satellites exist. I don't know. They never really dived into that in this movie, and not really too very often in um other media I, that it's in as well. Yeah, I don't remember it having like fog. Whatever. I mean, I, 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 I mean, it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a good explanation. It's a good quick explanation for the movie universe at least. Like, all right, maybe maybe we already have enough lore going on here. It's a fog, and you know, there's a force field around apparently that you know shuts out the outside world or whatever. Make yeah, I, I think it's supposed to make it look so bad that they would turn around because they're like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. we're probably going to get lost. That makes sense, right? Yeah, and I don't even know like where it is related to London, but hey, you never know. Apparently it's in the Atlantic somewhere, which is kind of weird, but... Hey man, she got she got me Aquaman. I, I kind of figured oh, since like it's it's so like you know based around the gods or whatever that'd be somewhere close down to like Greece or Rome or something like that. But please, I, so it's kind of weird. The gods, depending on what story you read, they're everywhere. I mean that's true too, and I guess you know uh, if if they had a sequel, I guess they'd have room to like you know incorporate that because the gods do have something to do with Cheetah as well. That would have to uh, that would have some good incorporation, but I don't know what direction they'll go if the um, if that does actually happen. Cause I don't know if we even heard about a Wonder Woman sequel in the mix. Well, they they already started, but they're trying to get the director back because I think they only signed her for like a one movie deal, mm-hmm. so they need to get her back to do it. So that's the one thing they're trying to do, but they want to do a Wonder Woman too. Yeah, which I'd be okay with, and the world would be okay with. Like, I don't know, man. I think as far as like, and I know this sounds weird coming from a guy, but as far as like um like a, a a movie for like that finally comes out to like represent the females in superhero movies, yo, like nail on the head, because I think overall. Like you can like whatever female superhero characters you want to. I think um history showed that Wonder Woman technically is the most popular, probably the longest reigning female superhero, really. Yeah. In like comic books, at least. She's like probably the most iconic. Yeah, definitely. Because I don't even really know who comes second to her. If we're talking about on, 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 on that scale, like that, that, that's that's why I'm so proud of on what they did with it. Like that's. I guess Supergirl maybe be the closest one. Yeah, but like she's. I, I feel like it's it's gonna be. I mean, I'm saying, like, if you know, everyone knows Supergirl, yeah, even though yeah, you're yeah. not a fan of her, I'm like, if you're talking about just who's who's known, mm-hmm. Wonder Woman and Supergirl, at least on the DC side, is, like, mm-hmm. most. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Wonder Woman's more popular, but Supergirl has had 
so many yeah hell exposure yeah so, so, since you put the word super in there they're like oh that means you must know superman somehow and like you know his his popularity sort of like leaks over onto hers which makes her a lot more recognizable but yeah. i think I, th- I think you know like i said before standalone this is awesome movie man yeah of course it is and i like that it was a prequel i kind of thought they would do like why she turned her back on man but i like that they did um what led her to fully become mm-hmm. the one woman that we saw in batman vs superman yeah I like that they did that. And I, I don't want any more prequels. I want... If they do the next one, I want it to be Present after right. Justice League. Just like they're doing Aquaman. I want it to be after for me, League. For me, it could even be after Batman vs. Superman. I could even take something in the middle right there and be okay with it. Because right now, I mean, I, I don't know what they're going to do with um, Barry's story. But, like, you know, they're really trying to avoid doing too much of a deep dive into Origins. Which I thought they did really good with Batman, like I said before. But, I don't know. I feel like he's going to be the next one that I really like keep my eyes on to f- figure out, you know, what they can really do with him. Yeah, I grew up with Wally. So I remember the first time I was actually exposed to Barry Allen as Flash was oddly enough the show because I knew Wally and I knew Jay. I did not know Barry at all because growing up, Wally was the Flash. Mm-hmm. So I was like, who the fuck is Barry? And then I just recently learned of Bart. Which I think he's the last Flash, right? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of weird. I'm kind of interested in what they're gonna do with Flash, but we'll see. We'll see. They got, I gotta. They gotta get that movie together. Oh yeah, definitely. They gotta like uh, after Aquaman. There's like no movie that's ready for DC right now. No, cause I think everything else is gonna be 2019, 2020 ish, and that's why like Cyborg lands oddly enough. You know. That's where a cyborg lands, oddly enough, you know? I thought you had more of a secret. No, that's, that's my whole sentence. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that. I was trying You're to let you... You're too busy bothering me, but I'm sorry. <laughs> he lying. He lying. Anyway. <laughs> no, but I thought, because Aquaman is... Is it December or the beginning of next year? I think Aquaman just Justice League are this year. Mm-hmm. I think. If not, Aquaman's beginning of next year. Because Justice League is November. Mm-hmm. And then after that, most likely, they're going to push for Gotham City Sirens, I feel like, next year. They have a director, but they have to cast Catwoman and Poison Ivy correctly, and they have to have chemistry with Harley, or it doesn't work. And people say, oh, Suicide Squad 2 wouldn't work. I'm like, yes, you can. You can set Suicide Squad 2 after Gotham City Siren, Mm -hmm. and it will work just fine. Because she's free from Suicide Squad. Uh Uh-huh. And then they're going to capture her again. Right. So you can easily have her in both those movies. Right. It's, and plus the actress like playing Harley Quinn. So she'll probably jump on it. And it's more exposure for her. Yeah. So it'll work. But as a standalone, 100%. One Woman, probably the best DC standalone, at least. If we're comparing it to Man of Steel. Because mm-hmm. that's the only other standalone we have right yeah, now. Yeah, standalone. Yeah, that's Man of Steel, really. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't like Man of Steel, but that Zod fight was on point. I like I like Man of Steel. I have no problems with it. Like, people have their complaints. I, 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 I just, I don't know. I just, I wasn't feeling it, really. But I've never felt Superman as a character was intriguing. I felt like people's reaction to Superman was really good. I mean, I, um, the way I felt about it is, um, I know I'm trying people to like, that. <laughs> I know I'm trying to avoid um, origin stories, but I feel like his got handled well. His wasn't all that bad, only because um, only 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 because they 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 tried to go back to the whole Krypton thing. Every, everywhere I go, someone else someone does something different with Krypton, and I think they like doing the Hollywood translation into what they want to be. And I was like, oh, you know, it's it's not bad. And 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 I, and I like the fact that they chose Zod, because I feel like um Superman has probably the second DC hero. Who has the most recognizable villains next to Batman? And I feel like he has a whole bunch. And I, um, I still believe Doomsday was number one, and they botched that. But I feel like Zod or Brainiac would, would have been a perfect number two. And we got Zod and Brainiac in the video game, so everybody wins. <laughs> now, if we go back to the Doomsday thing, I don't think that's full cool Doomsday potential though. That was baby oh, Doomsday. I, I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. I think they botched Doomsday. I mean, regardless of how they did it, Doomsday is one of them things. That if you're only going to use him once, use him at his best. Don't make a baby baby doomsday prototype that you want to just kill off in the movie and then never see again. How you know you're never gonna see him again? Oh, they. I doubt he's gonna come back. 
don't know. They they, they do reuse back. villains. I, I know they reuse villains, but not. Mm-mm. No, yeah. I think they are because if they make Superman come back, they're gonna make Doomsday, but probably a later movie. <sighs> Highly doubt. I mean, I'm, I could bet on that that Doomsday is gonna stay dead, but that's fine. I'm, I'm, I don't. Even they they want to make room for the other big deals like you know Dark Side, which I feel like if you're gonna put Dark Side in it, don't bother putting anybody else on the side. You only need Dark Side to carry the movie. Dark Side's not even coming to like. I I know, but I'm saying they're just making sure that they only have room for him right now. Like I don't even know who the main. It's no, not- I, I mean I do, but it's it's not. On the caliber of what people would know, like as far as like Doomsday, Brainiac, Dark Side, and um, all the other yeah, big ones. That's that's why I like DC though, because I like that they're not doing the normal villains because they have more room to be creative. Okay, but this is this is one of them things. Like I was saying, and, and I know this is an opinion, but I don't think Doomsday was as cool as he could have been. I, I never thought, thought Doomsday do, I, was I cool. Though. Honestly, think Doomsday is like, I mean, and maybe because I'm um I'm a Marvel fan, like I I relate I relate a lot to the Hulk. Like, what if Hulk was actually, like, a straight-up, not just a crazy person who just beats things up and whatever, but a legit bad guy who wants to kill the good guys? And I'm like, you know what? Sure, make that work. Make them all spiky, big, and gray, and, you know, stupid. But, I don't know. There were a lot of ways they could have made this work. And I don't feel like this... Then again, this is not that podcast anyway, but that's just my two cents on it. I, Doomsday is my favorite Superman villain. And that's because he he's one of the only ones to have killed Superman. He, I think he was the that first make one. Him. Okay, he did not. Uh, he can yeah. lit. He can he can literally outpower Superman. Like this this movie, like you know, retconned a lot of his actual strengths or whatever. Because I don't think he was baby Doom- Doomsday. <laughs> well, see, that's one of the things too. I feel like like I said before, if you're gonna use Doomsday, use him to his full potential. They made him like grow, like you know, mid fight, and now all of a sudden he had like these laser beam shits that had, was going on. He never had lasers to work with before. I don't know. But I mean, I mean, it doesn't bother me. But I feel like you can you can stick to comic book accuracy all you want with like a lot of things in um in movies. But you know, and you have freedom to you know avoid that. But I feel like this is one of them things where it's like, listen, just copy and paste it, and it'll work. There's literally no more work okay, to do. Okay, here are multiple iterations of Doomsday. He's supposed to have the I same know. powers as Superman, including that laser he, skin. I promise you, if you look for it right now, you will not find that. Oh, oh, his, challenge, what, challenge. What, he's, what he's supposed to have is his, um, his durability and strength. And um, it's not even only to um, be for Superman. Doomsday is supposed to be like an immortal being that can't die. Which, by the way, I don't even, I don't even get my chance to bitch about that one yet. But you know what, like I he said. He didn't die, this is, this though. He's like Superman. Superman is just regenerating, and so is Doomsday. We'll see about that. There's no proof I'll, that Doomsday I'll, is dead. I'll, I'll gladly say I'm wrong if, if I am wrong, but... And 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 if he and if they like, you know bring him back and redo him the way that he's supposed to be done, then I'll gladly take everything back. I'll mark this day down as the ninth of June, two thousand seventeen, as the day that I'm saying Doomsday is dead. Lasers. That's not laser. That's just his eyes. Okay, we're googling on pictures right now to find evidence of Doomsday using um lasers out of his eyes. His eyes are just red right there. Uh. I can't even find a good picture of him fighting. This is a this is a different podcast. That's a different podcast. Exactly. Like, right. I don't have time to actually find. I can't even find one where he's really fighting. Once you keep but, up with this podcast long enough, we we do this a little bit. So you know what? Try to try to keep us honest in the comments and tell us to focus a little more next time. But that uh, you know. It then. Proof 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 us wrong. Listen, if you have a picture of Doomsday using laser beams out of his eyes, send it to our email at echo underground podcast at gmail dot com. I know, right. Yes, I do plugs now. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. We do plugs. We do plugs. We're everywhere anyway. Going back to Wonder Woman. We're going on a DC tangent. But uh-huh. it, we're still on the topic of the same thing. She looked more badass, in my opinion, in her movie than Superman did in his. That's why I said her movie was better. I'm not saying that Superman's intro was bad. I'm just saying Wonder Woman's intro was... Her, her origin was better. That's all I'm saying. Okay, all right. Or, origin better, yes. But I think one one of the biases I have with Superman too is that his story actually is like moving things forward for the DCEU. Like I know, like one of them story, like it's cool and all, but it's more of like a standalone thing in the past, which you know is fair. You want to give her a good, uh, an actual honest origin and I mean, know, introduce Steve Trevor in the, in the world war. Yeah, ba- 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 Batman not, versus Superman. So that's still know, moving things along. I know. I'm not disputing that, but I'm talking about like you know the the presence of Zod, Metropolis getting destroyed, Batman being in the city when the city got destroyed. You know, like he, the chain reaction was a lot bigger on Superman's than the one was, was on Wonder Woman's. I'm not disagreeing with you. I think hers is still a lot better for an origin story. Yes, 
But I'm just saying, you know, you didn't really care for um, Superman. I'm just saying this is the reason I care for it. That's why. It put things in motion, um, you know, for the DCEU right now. And that's fine. Because I think they both did it in their own ways. But I feel like everything, if you want to pinpoint Marvel, we're going to say Iron Man. If we're going to pinpoint in um, the DC universe, we're going to say Man of Steel. Well, that's my opinion. That's not a fact. Yeah, yeah, that's a good opinion. Because a lot of people would say Batman vs. Superman. They would skip Man of Steel. No, and that's fair. That's a... It's kind of weird to say that, though, because technically the movie starts off in Man of Steel, but whatever. I can see the argument there, but that's yeah. fine. I can, I can see that. Because I honestly, introducing... Cause that's a, Man, we're not going to go there. We're, I'm not going to do Superman anymore, but I believe that... I'm kind of curious on how they're going to move forward her character. I think they set it up really great mm-hmm. with her. I think she actually has a personality, which is my biggest complaint about Superman. And I hope, honestly, I hope they don't do uh, Superman and Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman romance. I would hate it. Oh, me too. I mean, me no, too. like, I don't mind, like, the hints that they did in, like, the early con- Before he's, like, not Injustice version of them, no. Because mm-hmm. I would hate that right now. But I think if they, I think they're gonna lean towards Batman and one of them. Yeah, I mean there, there is a comic book version of them being together too, which I'd rather it just stay like just League just limited type, you know, relationship where like, hey, I'm I'm here to work, and you guys have superpowers too, and Batman's rich. But you know, I, I, mean, I'd I don't rather mind Batman that. and Wonder Woman like getting together per se. I don't mind because there's one where it, they are together. Mm-hmm, you're right. And it seems like they're leading because they they had a dance in that movie, yada yada. I don't know. Wonder Woman doesn't seem like the type to really be dating anyway. Right. I'd rather they, that's, that's why I'd rather they keep it that way. If you keep keep her strong and independent. That's how I feel. You can be independent with a man. I mean, you can, but I'd rather for in, in the context of a comic book character, just leave just leave her as it is. She already looks strong as hell right now. Yeah, but let she her could stay be strong. Wonder Woman needs love too. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> she clearly she clearly got taught on um what's the name on her island that it's not necessary to even be with a man unless they're reproducing but, so but okay we about to get real oh god <laughs> Listen, the, the, the runtime for this podcast is already pretty long so be careful when you're running with this unique yeah. okay okay fine we're gonna get real that was before she had a man though yeah the more she did with him was kiss him that's not true either they went into the room that's implied, but doesn't say it happened. Uh, okay, it's implied, doesn't say it happened. It. The movie PG thirteen. It didn't imply. It's, you Every, know what? If you go online, everyone's like Wonder Woman got laid because they are implying heavily that she got laid, but they can't. She show it. got taught that if that happens, it's literally not for pleasure; it's for reproducing, and that is it. Her face when he closed that door was saying, "Give me that, okay." There was I don't know. She, straight she, up pleasure she in up, that. She grew up for potentially what may have been hundreds of years being taught. That that's the only thing men are good for. So what makes one then random why man in the spend in the spend of three days in the spend of three, days, the spend of three days? Why would she kiss him? I mean, she, she kiss him. Me? Fine, but not because reprodu- that's, let that do the whole reproduction. Okay, you can't. Yeah, for, babies aren't born from kisses. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm I'm saying that as well. But like, if men are only good for like reproducing, she wouldn't have bothered kissing him. She so would have just so skipped she, to the end. So she's trying to reproduce. She's trying to have sex. She was trying to get laid. She oh, liked okay. him. You need to watch that um that boat scene again because she clearly said that's the only yeah, thing good for. Yeah, but you need to watch the ending because everyone knows she got laid. All like, right, even if that's the case, clearly she wasn't wasn't very impressed because she has nothing good to say about men's performance. That's literally what she that, got taught. Okay, that was before she actually had a man though. There was no. We, okay, let's let's say that actually happened. We have no indication that um that you know anything. Oh, yeah. I, listen, I, I'm going I'm go down on a real deep rabbit hole. I'm about to put it in this podcast. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hold up, Mm-mm. hold up. Back up. Wonder Woman is straightforward. Mm-hmm. I hear you. She, if, she, if he didn't put it down right, she would say it. She would have said it. Sure. Yep, exactly. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying sure to move this along because I'm like, <laughs> I, I have ways to um, you know, argue with this, but I'm not about to put this on this podcast. Whatever. Anyway, I'm right. One woman got laid uh-huh. and liked it, uh-huh. and it was okay. Uh-huh. No, I have no rebuttal. Don't keep looking at me. I have no rebuttal. I'm not <laughs> okay. going to say anything. <laughs> All right. We move past that. And I'm pretty sure she probably got laid over the years, too. I like how she just said we're moving past it and then made another comment about it anyway. No. Yeah, I got to iterate the point. 
Not, that not, you can't iterate the point after you say we're moving past it. I'm moving past the fact that you said that she didn't enjoy it. No, let's move past this whole conversation okay. right now. Get back to the movie as a whole. Okay. Let's, if, if anything, close the... We can go. I also wanted to talk about um, the scene in the actual warehouse. I want to say warehouse. With um, Steve Trevor and the bombs? No, no, no. When she... um. It was like before, it was in the middle of that long battle scene where she's running across the field and then she went in a warehouse first and then she went into like that. Oh, yeah, 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 to the town. Right, 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 right. That scene in the warehouse, it was better in the movie than the, what the trailer showed. Yeah. I thought the trailer showed the whole scene, but no, she hopped from two, like one in warehouse to another and like did a lot of things. And that was really badass too. And I thought the slow motion worked there. Talking about her big fight with Ares, I thought, um,. Like I said, I liked that she was confused. She didn't know what to do. I liked how badass he was. Favorite part, when he got his suit. Yeah. Even though I wish he would have, like, summoned his suit instead of, like, building it Made with, it like, scrap panels. Le- Legos That's, or whatever, yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that part. But it was really badass. I was like, where is his suit, son? And it's kind of weird. Like, the flashback of him injured, he looked younger than when he was fighting her. Yeah. I was like, yo, that makeup, though. Yeah. <laughs> there were some magic with that. And... Actually, I think all her relationships with all the side characters, that Indian guy, the oh, yeah, Native the, the, American the, the, guy, and then the Middle Eastern guy. I thought the, that was the, good. There's an Irish guy there too, right? Yeah. I thought all that was really good. You saw how it led to the picture. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I um, the, the secretary as well. Yeah. And I liked um, the scene where she almost gave up on mankind. Because... Mm-hmm. She stabbed that guy and, and was thought like, it should end, right? Yeah, and then when it didn't, she was so disappointed. And I thought that was really good. And the fact that now my thing is with Steve that I didn't understand. Why was he still questioning whether she was telling the truth when he saw her powers? Like all through the movie, it wasn't till like the very end he believed her. And I'm like, you just saw a woman stop bullets with her like hands. I mean, her little um, wrist things. Fling a grown ass man across the room. Do all these things. And you came from an island of women who could probably beat your ass no matter what. Mm-hmm. And you doubting whether she's telling the truth? That didn't make sense to me. But I did like that he finally, when he finally saw Ares, he believed her. And he told her, I think that line where it's like, I can save the world today and you can save the world tomorrow. So I thought that was really good. You see what's craziest? It came down to this weird, like, um, like, feel, like, I- ideological thing with, um, with both their, their, the way they were looking at the world. Cause I wasn't mad at Ares, um, as a bad guy. Cause, like, he kind of, he wanted to save the world too, but he's like, listen, they all suck. We can't do, we can literally do not shit for them right now. He's, he didn't want to save the he's, world. He he's just like, they were horrible people. Yeah, he, and that's, that's why I was like, um, like, he still kind of wanted to save them by kind of having to, you know, let's let them destroy themselves out. And you know we'll figure it out after all the um the at the fight of the all you know he sorry, wanted a world, all the death he wanted, he wanted to go back to a world where they didn't exist though. Yeah, right. So I don't know if that's saving the world, but I don't know. Cause I feel like after like humans existed for a while until like you know they said at least the mom said that you know they got free will, and I think free will is what maybe the turning point for when the um Earth thing kind of went wrong for him. Yeah, he said that, like, I put the ideas in the head, but I don't make them use them. Right. So they, they're right. doing this on their own. See, and that's what I liked about that. Like, he wasn't 100% a bad guy. Like, yes, he's a bad guy, but he wasn't a... Like, compared to other, like, you know, um, antagonists in other movies, his is more ideological than, you know, actual action being put out into the world to do something negative. Like, Ludendorff was. Ludendorff was literally ready to gas everyone. He gassed that town. <laughs> and I was like, okay, this is straight up, you know, you did a good job trying to por- portray a big, you know, beefy Hitler. Sure. But, like, um, man, Ares, I feel like he did a really good job, man. Um, I think the armor did look cool as well. You know. I thought it'd be su- su- cooler. Super, super CGI'd up, but it, it did a really good job with it. I mean, there's no other way to do yeah, it. I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with that at all. But, yeah. Um... Because as skinny as he is and look buff as fuck in that armor, <laughs> they yeah. had to CGI that. There's no way. Yeah. It, but it, I, I wish it was like more like it appeared on him mm-hmm. and not built from scrap. I didn't like that part, but I did like that he was fighting with his armor because I was waiting for it. Yeah. I know one version of him has him like just have it shoot out of flames on his body or something like that. Like his body turns on fire and all of a sudden the armor's there. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. 
But this, yeah. this is fine, though. Like, I, I mean, the only thing that really turned me off was the mustache, but <laughs> I'll get over that, though. Oh, you don't see it once he has a helmet on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean it didn't cover his whole face. You can still kind of see it, but cause it, didn't, it came like a, like a weird Y shape on his face. Well, no, he put but it on, gonna... and then he did this with the... He actually created... I thought that was cool. Right, yeah. When he put the metal on with his hand, I thought that was pretty cool, too. Yeah, he's like, I need to see. So. Yeah. I need to see all the fuckery I'm up to right now. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So, good, good, good antagonist, and I, I, I like the whole twist with him in the end as well too. Like, yeah, I like cool. that he was there, but not actually there. Like, right. A lot of people complain that you only saw him at the end and you didn't see him like building up. Technically, but, you did. Yeah, you did. He was he was the one that planted the idea. He's the one that gave Dr. Poison the idea to make the gas that killed all those people. Mm. So he was there. He was doing what he was supposed to do. But they never really explained what that substance was that Ludendorff was taking. That was making him, like, yeah, hella strong. Yeah, that, that was kind of weird. Because, like, when your face turned colors, uh-huh. that's not normal. It was like he was getting steroids. Or, no, a different version of steroids, obviously, but... The way he was sniffing it, I mean, it made me think, like, yeah, it was some, like... And then yeah, his face turned white. Saw, saw, saw the veins in his head and all that. It was very weird. I, th- I thought he was a very good bad guy, though. Like, he, like I said well, um, about him being, like, a beefy healer, that's really what came off to me. And, like, you know, as soon as you compare Hitler to any kind of bad guy, you know he's a bad guy. Yeah. Like, he killed all the guys who were, like, saying, hey, let's go through with this peace treaty because we have no food or ammunition for our men right now. And yeah. he killed them. And I was like, okay, yeah. But at first, you were just a bad guy. Now you're, like, an asshole. <laughs> yeah. And I was okay with that. I think um, I think we covered the whole movie at this point. Yeah. But I'm more of movie and then some. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, <laughs> you get to learn a lot when you listen to this podcast. But, so, guys, um, I think we're going to close out this episode. You can find us on, I think we're on everything now, except Tumblr, right? It's Yeah, you can find us on Facebook at Echo Underground Podcast. We're on SoundCloud under the same name, as well as we're also on YouTube under the same name. And we do have a Twitter, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post it with the video as well, so you can like, find us on Twitter. Okay. And then we'll see you guys on the next episode. See you.